As Dream Chaser's first launch gets closer and closer, so do the updates and progress on the spacecraft from Sierra Space. This space plane is expected to change how we access space and provide one-of-a-kind features. While in the last few months we were provided a few sneak peeks at the test articles and their progress, now we are getting even more. Just yesterday, Sierra Space released a new image showing off the Dream Chaser test article with quite a few thermal tiles installed. Decades ago, the space shuttle performed over 100 missions but had a few problems as well. In this case, Sierra Space is trying to create a modern space plane that innovates on past experiences and lessons learned. However, this spacecraft still features a very ambitious design that is yet to be tested on an actual launch. A fact the company is working to change with the first launch scheduled less than one year away in the third quarter of 2023. Here I'll go more in depth into the recent update, the differences between Dream Chaser and the Space Shuttle, what to expect in the future, and more. Just over a month ago, Sierra Space gave an update on Dream Chaser, highlighting that their team is currently working to install thousands of thermal tiles on Tenacity. Thankfully, just yesterday we got the first official look at this process with another update from the company. Specifically, yesterday Sierra Space tweeted saying, as Sierra Space prepares Dream Chaser for missions to the International Space Station in 2023, we move another step forward in realizing our team's mission to build a platform in space to benefit life on Earth. Here you can see what could be Dream Chaser tenacity partially disassembled for the application of thermal tiles. Taking a closer look at the image, it reveals hundreds of different tiles, each with specific markings and writing. With this test article being a cargo variant, there are no windows and instead, the entire front section is full of tiles. Currently, Sierra Space and NASA are still targeting the third quarter of 2023 for Dream Chaser's first mission to space and trip to the International Space Station. The mission is named SNC Demo-1 and is intended to be a demonstration flight of Dream Chaser to ISS for NASA, with a duration of around 82 days. Since Dream Chaser is only a spacecraft, it needs a dedicated launch vehicle in order to reach orbit. For this first mission, ULA's Vulcan Centaur is scheduled to be the rocket responsible for the job. However, if necessary, there are additional options for launching the spacecraft, which helps improve its future opportunities. In addition to this update on the installation of thermal tiles, not long ago, Sierra Space revealed new information on some of the final preparation being made for this first mission. In late October, the company tweeted highlighting, At Sierra Space, the countdown clock has already started. Preparing for the actual moment. Go for launch. This is Mission Control. This included a video that went over the process inside Mission Control and some of the simulations and tests being performed that directly apply to Tenacity's upcoming mission. Under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2 or CRS-2 contract, Dream Chaser will deliver more than 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to the space station and remain attached for up to 75 days as an orbiting laboratory. Once the mated mission is complete, the Dream Chaser disposes about 7,000 pounds of space station trash and returns large quantities of critical science accessible within minutes after a gentle runway landing. This will be Tenacity's job not long from now. As partially mentioned prior, this first mission is set to happen on top of ULA's Vulcan. Due to the fact that this is an uncrewed mission, Dream Chaser Tenacity will launch within Vulcan's fairings and fold its wings in order to fit. For future crewed missions, Dream Chaser is expected to launch with no fairings, allowing for abort capability if something were to go wrong. Now that we know more about Tenacity's first mission right around the corner, we can take a closer look at Dream Chaser and some of its important features. For one, the recent updates regarding Dream Chaser's thermal tiles are important to consider. In the past, one of the big downfalls of the space shuttle was its thermal tiles. Besides the fact that in certain instances there were damage which caused devastating results, one of the main issues had to do with reusability. During shuttle launches, tiles would often come off or would be damaged and had to be replaced. This tedious process ended up being one of the sole reasons that continued to delay the spacecraft. To put it in perspective, each tile used cement that required 16 hours to cure. After the tile was affixed to the cement, a jack held it in place for another 16 hours. In March 1979, it took each worker 40 hours to install one tile. As you can imagine, this was a big oversight that caused various problems over time. In the case of Dream Chaser, Sierra Space is confident that its design significantly improves on the ideas and technology applied to the shuttle. For one, in total there are around 2,000 thermal tiles across the entire spacecraft when complete. In comparison, the space shuttle featured more than 21,000 tiles. In addition, Sierra Space points out that their thermal tiles are both strong and lighter weight than what was used during the shuttle program. The company is also using more modern manufacturing techniques to increase strength and reduce cost. TPS tiles protect the vehicle from re-entry heat. Altogether, these tiles will protect Dream Chaser from temperatures that could reach upwards of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit on entry while keeping the vehicle itself at only 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The white tiles reject more heat from the sun while on orbit, which helps to keep the components within Dream Chaser cooler. 
all of which is hoping to create an overall highly improved product and process and future Dream Chaser spacecraft. In the past, Dream Chaser was originally designed as a crewed space plane, in part under NASA's commercial crew program, capable of carrying up to seven astronauts to and from the space station and other low Earth orbit destinations. Dream Chaser is 30 feet or 9 meters long, around one fourth the total length of the space shuttle orbiters. The crewed version of Dream Chaser is approximately 85% common to the cargo system, limiting primary changes to windows, environmental control, and life support systems. In addition, an integral main propulsion system is available for abort capability in major orbital maneuvers. This also determines whether or not it launches with or without a fairing, as partially mentioned prior. While the first uncrewed mission is scheduled late next year, the first crewed Dream Chaser launch is quite far away. As of 2020, the Sierra Nevada Corporation says it still plans to produce a crewed version of the spacecraft within the next five years. The company says it never stopped working on the crewed version and fully intends to launch it after the cargo version, and is still committed to the crewed version. Not to mention, in November 2021, Sierra Nevada Corporation reported that it received a $1.4 billion investment in Series A funding, which it will use to develop a crewed version of Dream Chaser and fly astronauts in the future. On the other hand, under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2, or CRS-2 contract, Dream Chaser will provide a minimum of seven cargo service missions to and from the space station. With the help of the Shooting Star service module, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 5,500 kilograms of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to the space station, including food, water, supplies, etc. Crews can access the Shooting Star via the aft hatch, berthing to the space station. Traveling through the Shooting Star takes them to the forward portion, where they can open the hatch and gain access to the Dream Chaser. When attached to the space station, Shooting Star provides a normal cabin environment for astronauts to work, and a prime location for cargo to be removed and placed onto the station after berthing. Dream Chaser can return critical cargo LSM 1.5 Gs using a gentle runway landing. Designed for high reusability, this vehicle reduces overall cost, providing quick turnarounds between missions. The ability to lift off on top of multiple launch vehicles and land at a wide variety of runways makes Dream Chaser a flexible option for reliable transportation. After leaving the space station, the Dream Chaser cargo system also offers disposal services via the Shooting Star transport vehicle. Once separated from Dream Chaser, Shooting Star burns up safely in Earth's atmosphere. As time goes on, we will have to keep an eye on the multiple Dream Chaser test articles and their progress. Sierra Space is working hard to prepare for the first official Dream Chaser missions scheduled in the third quarter of 2023. Right now, the company is installing thermal tiles on Tenacity, which will be the first test article to attempt the mission. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.